Right, first things first, then let's do the junior golf news, though. Uh, we'll start up in, we'll start in Scotland. Um, so the St Andrews Lynx okay. Trophy. Um, we've got the winner, got a photo of the winner. It was Seb Cave from Coxmoor Golf Club. Um, he's actually a Warwickshire golfer, but he does represent Coxmoor, which is a Nottinghamshire club. Um, played on the new and the old course up at, um, at St Andrews. He shot 66 on the new course. 69 on the old course then 75 on the old course and then finished with a 71 one by two shots fantastic field actually because he finished um ahead of harley smith and callum scott were both a couple of shots behind and i think i'm, I'm right in thinking that that gets him a, a step closer to actually qualifying to play in the open championship which takes place at royal nice. true they're based on i think on three amateur competitions so so well done to seb for um for getting a little bit closer to playing at the top level i think uh seb's 19 years old i think his birthday was the day after he won that so that's a happy birthday oh, present nice. there for, for, birthday, for winning Seb. that as well what I and obviously a lovely photo there on the uh on the bridge on the 18th hole there by the way on the 18th hole there in his second round he got a bird on the birdie on the 17th hole and that i think there'll be a few pros over the years who'll settle for that on birdie on the, I'll 17th say right, the way i was striking course. the ball yesterday steve i reckon i might have got birdie there as well you know yes yeah, I've, I've I've heard from your caddy the fact that uh, he's taking all the credit for that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> right. Staying in Scotland, then uh, the Barry Douglas uh, Scottish Junior Masters took place. Um, won by Brodie Cunningham um, from Bothwell Castle, 71, 72, 70. And I'm not sure actually whether he won on countback or whether it, whether he, he had a playoff, but he finished ahead of Aidan Lawson um, from Brunsfield. Aidan though did pick up the under 16s prize, so well done to Aidan for that. The girls' winner was Abigail May um, from St. Regla's Ladies Golf Club, uh, 73, 72, 77. Uh, Melissa Kay and Rosie Maguire were joint second there. The girls' net competition, gone. I know you like me asking asking you a question, guess a score, and yeah, things like that. Love it. Uh, love so it Tara score. Simpson from Blair Gallery uh, won over three rounds. How many shots did she win by in? Yeah. Oh god. Um, sensible answer is like two or three, but yeah. it's never sensible. So I'm going to say eleven. <laughs> Not bad for you. Thirteen shots you won by. Um, so net sixty-nine, net sixty-three, net seventy-five. I think she might even be more than thirteen shots ahead going into that final round. Uh, Melissa K. I'll get eight. one right one day. <laughs> you invite, well, that was that's probably the closest you've ever been, actually. To be fair, so so well done on that. Um, Another competition which took place over in Sweden, the Annika Sorensen Invitational, was won by Louise Langraf from France. We've got a photo, Louise. Oh, yeah, we do. Sorry, you caught me off guard there. there Absolutely. <laughs> and, and it's a person who has been mentioned on this podcast on a few occasions because she is a very, very talented and up-and-coming. She's one whereby this is a girl, I mean, look, she's already making a name for herself, so it's not one whereby we're, we're suddenly like saying that's one to watch out for because this is a person who a year ago you might remember on the progress junior golf podcast news we told you about the fact that she became the youngest ever winner of the ladies european tour access series events she also won the rna uh, under 16s amateur championship in april so a girl who is in seriously good form 69 69 73 she won by two shots from molly uh, molly rowling uh, so well done to um, to Louise. Um, Faro Series future regional uh, finals. They now all the regional finals have, have finished. There was one at Matford Hall, one at the Warwickshire, one at Brockett Hall. Uh, the final takes place at the Belfry. Um, the best qualifiers, the one, the one from Cumberwell Park was Archie Griffiths. He finished on one under par. Worsley Park was Jeremy Jew on one under par. But the best was at Sunningdale Heath. That was Jake Jeff Johnson, three under par gross. So well done to Jake. And um, staying with the Faro Series, they've got a couple of events coming. Actually, they've got three events coming up in the next couple of weeks, and I'm going to two of them. I'm gonna. You're gonna have to make a guess here. Which two out of these three do you think I'm going to? Then right. there's Isla Purbeck, yeah. Latvia, or Sweden. Which of those two do you think I'm going to? You're going to two of them. Yes. Um, so I'll give you a clue. Sweden. At least one of them is outside this country. Yeah, yeah, definitely going to Sweden, I reckon. Oh, no, 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 no. I think you're going to Latvia. I think you've told me you're going to Latvia. So I because think you're going to going Latvia to be... yes. and Isle of Purbeck then. Yes, yes. So, um, yes, we are, and we will be doing a Progress Junior Golf podcast on the trip to Latvia. So it'll be interesting to see how they develop junior golf over in a country which is not, by any stretch of the imagination, renowned for its junior golf. So it'll be fascinating to see what they do with junior golf. 
as well. Now, I mentioned Drake Jeff Johnson him on the British Junior Golf Tour. We're just going to mention a few of the Order Merit leaders because there's a lot of junior tours out there. He's actually leading one of the Order Merits of the British Junior Golf Tour. Some of the other uh, leaders are William Lyons, Oliver Smith, Zachary Blaney, Hamza Marfleet, and Shane Cooper. Now, I specifically want to mention Shane Cooper because he's in the under six category. And I looked at his name on the on the score sheet, and it's not down as Shane Cooper. What do you think his name is down as in? Uh, is it obvious? Should it be obvious? No, not at all obvious. Sure. His name is is down as the Showman Cooper. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> and I, 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 I just think, yeah, wow. I mean, golf needs personalities like that. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's a, that's a, that's an under six year old who's already got his nickname. When he turns pro in, in years to come. So so well until he's from Sheerness Golf Club down in Kent. Um some that. of the other ones, some of the other tours as well, they've got a lot of different age categories. So the Robert Rock Junior Golf Tour, for example, they've got 14 different categories of their order merit. The Northern Junior Golf Tour have got 20 do 22 different age categories. So I I was gonna read them out, but I just thought, geez, I've got to take us forever to try and read them all out, kind of thing. But yeah, there's obviously some... We've only got some an hour, things. Steve. Only got an hour. Yes, that's it. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I will read out the leaders, though, for the Junior Golf Scotland, though. The 18-hole gross leader is Sabrina Wom. 18-hole net is Thomas Watson. The 9-hole, Lewis Allen. And the flag competition, for those who are not aware what flag competition is, whereby they play over nine holes. And basically, they take a fly out of them. How many shots they've had up to, I think, 50 shots normally. When they've reached their 50th shot, they take a flag in the ground. And whoever's gone the furthest on the golf course, they win the competition. The leader of that competition is Greg McKillop. The Shires Junior Golf Tour, which is one which I'm heavily involved with, the 18-hole gross leader is Liam Greeno. 18-hole net is Harry Thomas, and the nine-hole is Harriet Swain. And I just finally, just want to mention as well that this weekend we've got an event with the Shires Junior Golf Tour at Seacroft in Skegness. It's a team event, and the winning team in that they get the coaching clinic with Charlie Hull, which we, of course, Brilliant. did the podcast on this year. So, so we need to get Charlie on this. this. We need to get Charlie on this. Well, we will do it at some stage, yes. He's too busy be... uh, smoking. Yes. <laughs> yes, I did see that, I thought. And she's the shyest junior golf tour ambassador, I thought. That's probably not something which we want to promote too much. So, uh, so um, in her defence, her dad was a chain smoker and, and still is kind of thing. So I suppose it's it's... Is it's in the family, but anyway. But Charlie is a fantastic ambassador for the CI Junior Golf Tour. Just forget the fact that she's had she a few is. cigarettes. Over. She, she is. is. Yeah. No, no, right. She is. That wraps up the that wraps just up the junior golf event. Go on, then. Carry just on. One thing, Steve. I just want to give a bit of a shout out, not really a junior anymore, but somebody whose career we've probably both been involved with for the last um three or four years or so. Um, of course, I first broadcast her at the English under 18s, she went on to win it. Uh, and then she went on to win the Sunningdale Foursomes. And since then, she's gone over to study at university in America and she's absolutely ripping it up. Can I just say huge congratulations to Lottie Woad? She is the women's ranked number one amateur in the world now. So, uh, Lottie Woad, congratulations. I know she's not um, sort of a junior anymore as such, but we've followed her through the junior ranks and she's sort of been the star name, hasn't she, really, Steve, over the last sort of. 10 years, I guess, from junior ranks um, moving up. What a future Lottie has. Uh, she's also a big uh, Leeds United fan as well. So happy days. Well, so so there's one good thing going for her there. <laughs> yeah, her golf. And actually, if you, yeah. look, uh, actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, if you look at the, 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 the amateur golf rankings over the years, there's been some seriously good players who've been number one and then gone on to have a very, very successful... I think Lydia Coe is probably the most famous and yeah. you know, won a couple of majors. So L- Lottie's um, going to follow it. I tell you, I've had the... Pl- the privilege of following around with um, camera and microphone for probably 40 holes or so of a short career or so, but at big tournaments as well. You know, Sunnydale Forsen's in the English under 18s championship. So it's a big tournament and um, she's just like steel in a really good way. She is like steel. And, and you know, when you see players in, and they have these spells where they do really, really well and they sort of drift away again, she's just constantly on it constantly. And, and it's, it's been that way for five or six years. So this is no flash in the pan. This is set. I mean, everybody would already know the name Lottie Wade, but I tell you, it, it, she's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Great. Well done to her. Le- Leonie Maguire is another film of world number one amateur yeah, as well. So, that's a good point. So that, yeah. And not, not a bad player to follow in the footsteps. Right, that wraps up the junior golf news then.